Hello everyone, myself Vivan Sagar. Welcome to my YouTube channel Vivan Education. In previous class, we discussed about the concept of numbers. If you missed that one, I have given link in description, you can check that one. So today, we are going to discuss about the topic, the four basic mathematical operations with integers. So before going to this topic, again once we will recall what is the meaning of integers. So integers nothing but what the, the combination of positive numbers and negative numbers including 0 are called the integers. Nothing but the 0 right side and positive numbers 1, 2, 3, so on and uh, left side minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, so on. Okay? So, here we have to remind one thing clearly while comparing the, what is the, what is the use of comparing numbers? Normally we know 0 is uh, less than all natural numbers. Okay? So, all things we know. So, 1 is less than 2, 10 is greater than 3, like that we know uh, for positive numbers. So, we will go with the negative numbers here. Okay? So always we have to remain only one thing, a less negative number, a less negative number is always greater than a more negative number. What is the meaning sir? A less negative number is always greater than a more negative value. That means I am taking two, two numbers, two negative integers, I am taking minus 2 and minus 20. Okay, what is the condition I said here? A less negative number is greater than a more negative negative number. So you see, minus 2 is there, minus 20 is there. So it is a less value, and then nothing but it should be greater than the more negative value. Nothing but the minus 2 is greater than minus 20. So I am covering our one. Minus 1 with the minus 1000. Okay, so lesser value. So, a less negative value is always greater than a more negative value. That means, uh, minus 1 is a greater value. So, this is what you have to remember compulsory in negative numbers. So, the topic is about now, the basic four, the four basic mathematical operations with integers. So, we have four uh, arithmetic operations. We have four arithmetic operations. Uh, those are... Uh, Plus, minus, multiply, and uh, divide. Addition, subtraction, multiplication, and uh, division. We will see operations under positive and uh, negative. So, first I am taking uh, addition and subtraction under addition and uh, subtraction. Okay? So, first uh, two cases we have to remain compulsory. So, by doing addition or subtraction, we have to remain two cases. First one, when given two like signs, I mean same symbols, either two positive or uh, two negative. Then, first uh, we have to add the integers. First, we have to add integers when we given uh, like symbols. And then, we have to give the symbol of uh, big number. So whatever the big number is a symbol, that symbol we have to represent with the given answer. With what will be the answer? Second case, when alternate symbols, nothing but one plus, one minus, and uh, minus and plus. Alternate symbol when given means uh, first we have to subtract. First we have to subtract. Then again we have to give the symbol of uh, big number. Just we have to remember this condition. So for this one we will see some examples. Taking examples. So I am taking some number is 5 comma 10. Taking two integers. Okay. First I am using a like signs. Both are plus. This implies what will happen here? 5 plus 10. This becomes how much here? First of all, what do you have to do? Two same symbols. What do you have to do first? Addition. This is 15. Then what do you have to do? We have to give the symbol of the big number. 10 is having plus sign. So 15. So if you no symbol present means always will be a positive one. Next, second one. Second word, second word is here 2 or negative. Nothing but the minus 5 comma minus 10. So same number something in the negative symbol. That's it. This implies minus 5 and minus 10. When both are negative, so both are negative, what do you have to do first? Addition means 10 plus 5 is 15. Then we have to give the big number symbol. 
So here we have to remind again, irrespective of symbols, first we have to choose the numbers. Compile the numbers means we have to choose the numbers which is small, that is the greater one. But here we have to use, we have to check the numbers first. 5, 10, which is greater 10, which one is the minus, so we have to use minus symbol. Okay, that's it, because I minus sign, so we got the minus symbol. In second case, case 2, I am taking other two numbers, suppose I am taking a 6, 8. Okay, then what is written here? Alternate symbols is said. So this implies, first one is positive, second one is negative. 6 minus 8. Okay, 6 minus 8. So first what you have to do, order means first you have to do subtraction. Okay, nothing but 8 minus 6 is what you have first 2. Okay, now compare numbers. 6, 8. Which is greater is there here? 8. 8 have a symbol minus. So answer is minus 2. Okay, next one. So for same numbers, now I am doing reverse. So minus for 6, plus for 8. So again, nothing but here, what you got to do then? Minus a bit here. Now, here I am doing minus 6, comma 8. So that means what? Minus 6, plus 8. So ordered symbols first one is what I have to do? I have to do subtraction. 8 minus 6, what here? 2. Okay? Check the numbers. 6 and 8, which is greater? 8. Which one is there again? Plus. So answer is plus Got it? So, first we have to do the condition while comparing the numbers or we are adding or subtracting. That one we have to remember compulsory. We have to check that one compulsory. Okay? This is under arithmetic operations under addition and subtraction. Next, uh, under multiplication and division. Multiplication and uh, division. So, again, again we have to remember the same two conditions like this. So, in multiplication, if two like signs, nothing but uh, two positive or two negative, First we have to multiply, first we have to multiply and then we have to give the positive symbol, we have to give the positive symbol. In case 2, when given alternate symbol, plus or minus and minus or plus, first we have to multiply and then we have to give the minus symbol, nothing but minus into plus will be plus, minus into minus becomes plus. Plus into minus and minus into plus becomes what? Minus. This is a condition which you have to remember. By seeing some examples, we will check this one. Okay? First one. I am taking two integers, both are positive. So I am taking 6, 7. 6, 7. Both are positive. This implies that 6 into 7. Nothing but both are positive ones. So first what do you do? We have to multiply. 6, 7 is 42 and what symbol plus so not there means always possible to be present okay second condition both are negative that means what in, that indicates what uh, minus 6 comma minus 7 both are negative that means uh, minus 6 into minus 7 so first we have to, we have to multiply 6 7 is 42 so two are negative means which one we have to keep positive so this one other means always it represent a positive only this is for both are same signs now alternative Okay, so I am taking other example, second one, I am taking other example as the uh, two, simple one, 2 comma 3 I am taking. Okay, so now plus minus, so first one is a positive one, second one is a negative one. This indicates what the 2 into minus 3. Okay, first one to multiply, 2, 3, 6. Now, when I order it, plus into minus, plus into minus because what is it? Minus, we have to keep the minus symbol. Okay, then. For this number, I am changing the symbols. First one, what minus? That means what? Uh, minus 2, comma, plus 3. This indicates what? Uh, minus 2 into 3. Okay? That implies what? First one, I do multiplication. 2, 3 is a 6. Now check it. Minus into plus, because what here? Minus. So answer is the minus 6. Okay? This is multiplication. Division also same. Same condition will be applicable. So by, seeing, by checking some examples, we will see here. Okay? Now division. Okay, so first one, first case, I am taking numbers as uh, 20 comma 10, 20 comma 10, so I am taking both are positive, so under division, this is what will happen, 20 by 2, so 20 by 10, 10 ones are 10 twos, so nothing but positive, yes, we got positive means yes, we got again positive value. Second case, in this one, second what is the same symbols, nothing but the two are negative, nothing but minus 20, comma minus 10. This implies what it indicates minus 20 by minus 10. Minus minus will be cancel 10 to the 20. Yes. Again you want to pause to yes sir. 
when two are same likes like signs nothing but two are positive two are negative means we will get the positive in case two what is their altered symbols again i am taking 30 comma 15 suppose 30 comma 15 alternate first one what is it plus sir second is what minus so taking for 15 minus this indicates what the 30 by minus 15 15 ones are 15 twos are yes now symbol is what is it one plus one minus the minus means what indicates minus okay answer is what minus two now change the symbols first one minus second one is plus sir. that indicates what the minus 30 comma plus 15 that indicates what the minus 30 by 15 15 ones 15 twos so order it minus plus that means what indicates minus so answer is what the minus 2 okay so this is uh, the basic four arithmetic operators nothing but operations order plus minus into and uh, divide so while do i'll compile the numbers uh, always a less negative number is greater than a more negative number and uh, additions uh, we saw how to how to solve the additions and subtraction and uh, multiplication and division okay this is the basic mathematical operations with the indices i think so you got it thank you so much